Good morning. Well, it may not be morning when you're listening. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> this is Michelle, of course. I'm going to go over this classroom context assignment because most of you answered that you had done an assignment like this before. I've changed it up a little bit to hopefully make it a more meaningful assignment for you so you're not just reproducing the same thing over and over. Um, I'm not sure if you've done a classroom design like this one. This is very detailed and asks for quite a bit. Um, so please just look it over and um, really think about which assignment will help you learn the most. So I'm going to leave it up to you. Um, the first assignment you could choose would be to read through this. Um, it's very detailed. It asks for very specific things in a room plan and in a schedule. And then it has all of the um, points possible. And you'll notice the standards are very clear for how this is graded. So when you go to do either one of these assignments, I'll be looking for evidence that you've looked at some of these things such as schedule provides blocks of times for child directed activities. Schedule does not require children to spend large blocks of time in adult directed activities. Schedule minimizes transitions, that kind of thing. So um, the accessibility piece will be really important also because this course is about um, inclusion in terms of all children being able to access um, the things you have planned for them so or the materials that you are put you know having on the shelves for them to choose from that type of thing so um, just keep in mind the things from the readings that you're doing as well when you're looking at um, this particular assignment the other thing you could do, if you would rather not create all of that because you've done that before, or you work in a center and you're very familiar with room plans and schedules and you've observed in many places now, so you've seen lots of different ways to do things, and that's really good. So here's your second option. Um, I am going to send you something that was sent with to me for this class and that is an example of the assignment. So if you're going to do the assignment as it was given where you're going to create the room plan and then answer all those questions that are in that document, this is an example of how a student did it for an older class. So just bear in mind that um, this is designed in my opinion for children who would maybe be kindergarten first second grade even um, so there are elements of it that are appropriate for younger kids like three to five year olds but this is definitely um, something that would not be appropriate say for toddlers or two-year-olds or even really three-year-olds so it's not a criticism of this particular example. I want to make that clear. But I am saying to you that when you look at this schedule, for example, look at the number of transitions that are there. Um, that's quite a lot of transition for young children. And they're not having play centers until the afternoon. And they only have them for 20 minutes. <laughs> so. I'm already kind of doing part of this assignment for you, but I want to give you an example of what I mean. And then this is a very detailed outline of what people do and what their roles are. I do think this is worth reading through, um, but rethinking in terms of the age. So I'm just going to go so you can see how long this is. So this is, you know, a long document with lots of explanation. So what I would like you to do, if you do not want to create a piece like this, um, I would love for you to go through and basically change it 
so that it would be friendly to an infant toddler, not infant, excuse me, toddler two-year-old classroom or a three to five-year-old classroom. So please um, keep that in mind. The first thing you would do is choose one of those two. I'm going to do this and change it to make it appropriate for toddlers two-year-olds, maybe even early threes, or three-year-olds to five-year-olds. Um, so choose which classroom you want to represent and then go through here and just make notes in this document about what you would change. So this really could be done pretty easily. Just read each part and when you come to a part you want to change, change the font color to red or blue or green, I don't care, <laughs> as long as I can read it. Or if you want to type in black and then highlight in yellow what changes you would make. The other thing I would be happy for you to do is um, take pictures of what you would change. Definitely this schedule would need to change for young children. So just make a new schedule. These transitions, oh my gosh, every 20 minutes or so they are changing what they're doing. So, um, whoa, <laughs> I'm not sure I could do that. <laughs> so just, it's not, a, again, I'm not being critical. I'm saying it's really different. And I'd like you to really think a lot about it. And this I would like you to redo. So you can just take this schedule and you can either delete it or change the times and change what's being done. Um, you know, in an early childhood classroom, you would not have writing and reading and literacy and all of that and social emotional. You wouldn't set it up that way. So um, I think you know that. <laughs> so I hope this assignment is clear. Um, just go ahead in and make the changes to just tell me toddler twos, early threes, or older threes, fours, and fives. Which classroom are you representing? And then make the changes using, again, changing the font color or highlighting when you type what you would change. If you would leave something the same, just leave it there. And I'll know that you made that choice to leave it the same. Um, so I hope this is clear. I'm trying to make it a better assignment than it would have been if I would have just had you do this all over again when you've already done it before. So again, though, do look at these criteria because they're really good guides for you know how to get that assignment done. So I hope this is helpful. Don't, don't hesitate to reach out. I know sometimes um, a recording even isn't clear enough. So just make sure you let me know if you need some direction.